What's up, y'all? Sparty here. So for this video, I want to talk Soundcore Liberty 3 Pro versus Sony WF-1000XM4. One definitely has the superior name over the other because it's easier to say, but, you know, whatever. Some people say Liberty Pro 3, but they're literally called Liberty 3 Pro on the box. So I've even made the mistake of calling them Liberty Pro 3, so I'm not going to be like, oh, you know what you're saying. I've done it before, too, so it's whatever. Um... So the main reason I'm doing this is because a lot of people are saying these for the price beat out these, period. And <clears throat> I just, mm, this is going to be a very contentious thing. I'm not saying that when you pay more, you get better. I definitely don't think that. Um, that was the case for iPhones versus Android phones for the longest time. And it, nah, and I don't necessarily think it's the same. When it comes to things like uh, true wireless earbuds, I don't think that you get better just by paying more. And um, yeah, these are like these were like one eighty when I got them. These were these were three hundred, and um, plus, that's adding the tax. Um, and while both of these are really good, I really do like these a lot. Um, just, one does things better than the other and i will indeed bring that up here right now so in terms of the overall lightweightness of the earbud and all that stuff i really do feel like the uh i definitely feel like the liberty 3 pro do a far better job at being lightweight um they're <laughs> they come out you put them in your ear and They come out of your ear, or they go into your ear, you put them in, and you almost forget they're there, honestly. Um, and that's really nice. The XM4, on the other hand, are quite bulky. Um, they're quite, they have quite a bit of heft to them. They're pretty much the majority of the heft that comes into the case, that go into the case. And, uh, yeah. The, and there's definitely reasons for that. I don't know why people are sitting here like, why, why is you know, why are these so huge and bulky? And it's not the ANC, um, it's definitely the battery life for these. And you look at other Soundcore earbuds that are also bulky, that have insane battery life, you would understand why these are quite bulky. And you, I'll get into that a little bit later. And why I feel like for things like LDAC, these are the ones to go with because they just last long. They, they last far longer. <laughs> like, like, there's no competition. But yeah. Both of these overall are really nice looking earbuds in terms of the in terms of the overall um like integrity and structure of the case. Um I definitely like the sound core a little bit more. Um it doesn't creak. Um while it is more light definitely more lightweight, um when I do extend the when I do st extend the top out, there's a little bit of wiggle there. <laughs> no rhyme intended, but I don't feel like I could just snap this off at all it really feels very sturdy really no issues there both of these have led lights on the front these have led lights in the case as well to indicate whether or not you have one or both of the earbuds plug connected uh or in the case rather and when you take both of them out none of the lights shine and that's really nice as well <laughs> um the xm4s don't have that but the xm4s also have very strong magnets <laughs> Over the over the time that I've had these, um, the magnets just stay as strong as they are. And I'm putting in quite a bit of effort to take them out. So, very nice on that Sony. Both of these give you five out. Five, each one of these give you an hour worth of usage every time you put a, every time you put an earbud in the case for five minutes. Let me reword that. For every five minutes you put these back in the case to charge, you get an hour's worth of usage. Both of these do very good there. Um, they pretty much have the same amount of battery life in the case, too, around 32 hours. Um, but the Sony definitely give you... The Sony definitely give you more battery life out of the earbuds themselves than what these give you. Um, and I'll go into that now just to get it out of the way. So the Sony's... Uh... 
I'll do the Liberty 3 Pros first. Since they're literally right here. The full volume ANC off, but LDAC on. You get 2 hours and 44 minutes out of these. Full volume ANC on, LDAC on. You get 2 hours 30 minutes. You you have LDAC off and, and noise canceling off. 5 hours and 34 minutes. LDAC on or and noise canceling on LDAC off. 3 hours and 43 minutes. Those are very good numbers. Those are good numbers. Um, I'm not going to necessarily say those are amazing. They're good enough due to how fast these charge. If you really need to listen to music longer than that, just put them in the case for 5 to 15 minutes. You have an extra 3 hours right there, and you'll be totally good. Um, the XM4s, though, the XM4s at 100% volume. <laughs> oh, man. You turn noise canceling on and LDAC on is pretty much around the same. You get you get four hours and fifty two minutes. Wait, let me double check that actually. Yeah, let me look. Oh no, you get double. You get over double actually. That's four hours and fifty two minutes. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's that's pretty goddamn crazy. And that's with 100% volume. When I did it with... And that's also with um, LDAC on. So if I turn LDAC off, put it at 50% volume, that's 8 hours and 57 minutes. 100% um, volume, noise canceling, and LDAC off, you get 13 hours. <laughs> um, and when you have... And when you just turn it to 50% volume and just have... AAC or just turn LDAC off and have noise canceling off you get 15 15 hours and 33 minutes of overall usage um, in terms of overall battery life the XM4s definitely crush the sound core um, there's just no debating that and really nothing else I can say when it comes to uh, when it comes to the battery life on both of these headphones um if you want LDAC and you listen to the kind of music that actually does benefit from LDAC, I would go with the Sonys. And you want to listen to, listen to them for longer, I would definitely go with the Sonys. Um, if you want, <laughs> uh, if you want a more bassy headphone though, and you want a little bit better vocal clarity. Because these are very, or well, not clarity, the vocals are definitely more crisp on these. And that kind of goes into what I don't like about these, is that vocals can be a little bit too crisp. But what's the point of having active noise cancellation take up all of that battery life on these in particular if it's not good, right? Um, both of these have very good noise cancellation and transparency modes. Um the wind still definitely goes to the Sony, though. I definitely feel like the Sony still does better at it. I don't have the Bose Quiet Comfort Buds, so I can't even talk about those. For what I have in my collection, these are definitely the best that I have. Though it's not by a gigantic margin, it's definitely by um, very little kind of tests where, say, I'm on a bus and the noise canceling is strong on each of them, but the... Um, the Sony's wiggle around in my ear less or something like that. So it's less, it keeps my ears being less sensitive to the noise cancellation and stuff like that. Um, both of these have wind noise filters as well. Um, this definitely does better with it or wind noise cancellation. What it'll do is it'll slightly lower the quality of the ANC or uh, the strength of the ANC, rather, not the quality. And um, it'll just cancel out wind noise. And these definitely do better at that to where I just didn't hear any wind. Whereas these, I still heard wind. <laughs> and not that that's a bad thing. It's not going to completely drown out wind. But I feel like the three extra, the extra money that you pay for these, you definitely get the better wind noise cancellation out of these if you do care for that. Both of these are really good transparency modes, like I said. These would definitely be better because both my voice and whoever is talking's voice sound clear and natural. Um, these are basically tied with earbuds like the the um, AirPods Pro. And to me, that is very nice. Whereas these, my voice still sounds a little bit digitized on these. And that's not necessarily a, a bad point. 
And these definitely have, are more lightweight in your ears. So if you can handle your voice being a little bit more digitized, it's not like it's not like the worst thing in the world, but it's something you can definitely notice when you pay attention. Um, you can't really go wrong with either of these in terms of the ANC and the ambient mode. Um, both of them do really well. Um, let's talk about sound overall. Because that's something that, again, if you're going to use LDAC and if you're going to use something like, uh, if you're going to use LDAC for the amount of time <laughs> that I a lot that I showed you guys right there, the uh, you're going to want to at least have good sound, right? Both of these sound good to me. Um, I don't necessarily have any sort of problems with how any of these sound, aside from, again, the crispness of the vocals on the sound cores. But I'll get into a little bit more how I feel about them. The problems that I have with the Sony is that voices can sound a little bit too warm at times to where voices can also sound pretty muffled um, a little bit, a little bit veiled. And that's something that I don't really, I don't, I, I guess both of these, I don't really like how vocals are handled, <laughs> which kind of sucks. For hip hop and rap, it does kind of like, for hip hop and rap, it does indeed come out as something that I do notice. Um, you know, a lot of people say, oh, hip hop rap doesn't have a lot of dynamic range. Shut up. Shut your mouth. Um, it's not that big of a damn deal. Especially when I was use I was using tracks that weren't hip hop and rap that were vocal heavy and more more in that had more like actual instrumental type tunes going into it and not like, you know, made in made in some sort of like, you know, production program, like say Fruity Loops or uh, audacity and things like that um the xm both the xm4s and these do quite well with that um i do feel again that the vocals on vocals on here feel a little bit too crisp while these feel too veiled in terms of bass these will definitely be better for bass canon type headphones these are very good for sub bass as well but um I do feel like the bass on these tend to drown out vocals and smaller intricate details and tracks a little bit more than what these do. You still hear hear heal hear quite a bit of the um more intricate parts of tracks with the ANC on here or not the ANC the um with the overall sound on these but I do feel like the I do feel like these just do a little bit too much when it comes to having the bass and the vocals kind of be on the same kind of level. And that doesn't work very well with the vocals at all uh, for me personally. Uh, the Sonys are very good with sub bass. Both of these are very customizable. These have hair ID. These have like eight to 10 different EQ options you can do with three being three being some that you can um customize yourself um these definitely have the better control options where you can literally control everything whereas these you have to pick and choose on the left or right earbud what you want on those earbuds for example on the left earbud i have my um playback controls on the right earbud i have my noise canceling controls um another thing i wish these had that this di one thing i wish that these had that this doesn't doesn't is um what what am i talking about one thing I wish these had that these do, <laughs> goddamn, is um audio pa like audio pass through you or audio pass through. I think it's called talk through mode where you press and hold on whichever earbud you have set to your noise canceling, and it'll lower the volume of your music and go into ambient mode, and you could just talk to somebody real quick like that, and you let it go, and it'll go back into noise canceling and and um play your music or your podcast at full volume um i wish more headphones had that i wish it wasn't just sony that was doing that or, or earbuds not headphones and one thing i wish that these had that this doesn't multi-point pairing um i really wish these had multi-point pairing it does kind of suck that they don't especially at this price point it just really doesn't make sense and if you didn't want to do multi-point pairing and you wanted Something similar, you can go with what the FP9s do, where they have <clears throat> multi-connections, where you can have them connected to multiple devices at once, and when you want to use that device, guess what? You just switch over to that device, and bada-bing, bada-boom, 
you're connected. That's honestly my preferred method because multi-point pairing tends to be all kind of funky and weird where even when I'm playing music or audio out of one source, it'll decide to just play, try to play out of the source I'm not using. So that's kind of something that I wish these had that these do. Um, <clears throat> what else? I don't really take calls on my phones or anything like that, so I can't really talk about the mics. But the amount, but the times that I did take calls on both of these, girlfriend had no issues hearing what I was saying. So really, have no issues there, and I had no issues hearing what she was saying. So both of these have good enough mics. Go to other channels if you want to hear how the mics sound. My game ski does a really good job at showing you what the mics sound like. So does L have a reviews. Um, those channels will definitely do better for that. I just don't have the. Uh, I don't, I don't, I just don't have the time to do all that stuff. And for me personally, since I don't take calls all that much, it just really doesn't matter to me personally. Uh, 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 so what do I feel about both of these here? Let me zoom back out. What do I feel about both of these? Um, I don't necessarily feel like you're winning or losing going with either or. Um, it's definitely more of a win on the sound core because they're cheaper and you're getting a lot of bang for your buck there. But I don't necessarily feel like you're wasting your money if you're going to the XM4. A lot of people, you, you're just wasting your money. Like, I don't feel that way at all. You're still getting one of the best earphones that have active noise cancellation and an ambient mode. You're still getting a very highly customizable experience with your sound. You're getting a lot of kind of things like that that I feel, oh, that's that I feel are very nice. And Sony did a good job. I wish they would stop using their brand name to hike up prices. But uh, nonetheless, I still feel like these are a very good option, especially at the sale prices that they're going to be going for for Black Friday and stuff like that. These, same deal. Um, these are like going for 130 right now on Amazon, I believe, for, uh, for like Amazon Renewed and all that stuff. So that's going to be very nice you're going to get a very good, a very banger pair of headphones for like 130. So, so that is very nice. Um, both of these are very good headphones. It just ultimately depends on if you like Sony sound, go with Sony. And if you like what Sony is doing with their headphones, go with them. It's not necessarily a bland, brand loyalty kind of deal. I personally don't feel like you should just be going with a company because Oh, on the top of the case, it says Sony or on the top of the case, it says Soundcore, which people are definitely doing. I don't 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 act as if people aren't doing the same thing with Soundcore like they do with Sony. Don't act as if they do in terms of lesser known brands. Soundcore is definitely the one that comes out the most <laughs> like or that gets men mentioned and recommended the most. Like, so stop acting as if. Sony's the only one that gets this kind of treatment. They don't. Um, but yeah, that's all I really want to say for this. This is Sparta. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for support. Let me know in the comments section below what you feel about this. Um, like the video if you like it. I would say dislike the video, but that doesn't really matter anymore since I took the dislike counter away. Um, <laughs> hope you guys have a wonderful Wednesday, whatever time or day it is in your area. Have a good one.